Hey everyone, welcome back to another vlog. So I'm sure that most of you know with the ongoing spiking corona cases, most of us are choosing to stay at home, including myself. That's why I'm using this week to record a few videos at home, starting with this one. If you've been sticking around in this channel for quite some time, you will already know that I am a student. I will be turning 20 this year and I am a coffee drinker. I drink a lot of coffee. You will definitely find me drinking coffee in many of my vlogs. We've also been to a lot of cafes. I love coffee so much that we have a coffee machine at home and I use it almost every day. With that being said, I thought it would be fun to show you all how I make my coffee at home. This is a video that I really wanted to make for a very long time and since we're not going out for the entire day, I think it's finally time. I just want to say that I am not a professional, okay, no way. <laughs> I'm just a guy who is really interested in coffee. So if I've said or done anything wrongly during the process, just brutally correct me down in the comments. If you want to see more vlogs in the future, be sure to hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe to this channel, okay? Let's make some coffee. Welcome to the kitchen. This is where we're going to make the coffee. This is my coffee machine. 90% of times after I wake up, this is where I'll be making my coffee. There's something really important that I need to talk about and, and that's the beans. <laughs> These are my beans. I keep them in an airtight glass jar and the type of beans, the brand, to me it's not really that important as long as you enjoy the flavor. So because of that, I'm not going to reveal the brand, okay? Don't worry, your, your identity is safe with me. Yes, obviously I grind my own beans and that is something that I will recommend to you as well if you enjoy making coffee at home because Grinding your own beans ensures the freshness. And yeah, obviously you can get coffee beans that have been grinded up for you at the supermarket, but uh, buying whole beans like this and grinding them yourself not only has a better flavor, but they also have a longer shelf life. Speaking about beans, different coffee drinkers prefer different levels of roasting, okay? You have light roast, medium roast, and dark roasted beans. Dark roasted beans are very very bitter and they are very very dense in flavor so that's not really my my preferred type i prefer medium roasted beans the first thing i will do is ground the beans ground grind the beans grind the beans a lot of people would recommend you to weigh your beans that way the coffee that you're extracting at the end will always be consistent but i'm not aiming for consistency right here so uh, what the heck There's always coffee ground sticking at the side over here in this container and every time I open the lid, it, it, it'll make a mess. I actually already spilled some on the floor but I'm gonna pretend that that never happened. Now what we have to do is place the basket in the water filler. I, I really thought that, that that was going to go in perfectly. Another very annoying thing when I make coffee at home is scooping out the coffee grounds from this container with this round scoop because it, it always leaves coffee grounds stuck in the corner over there and I can't scoop it out. This video is just me ranting about coffee, okay? So bear with me. So after I fill the basket with coffee grounds, you can see it piling up like that, right? And that's not nice. We have to press it. This is called tamping. I've watched some videos on YouTube teaching us how to tamp the coffee grounds properly and they, they told us to hold it like a doorknob. Make sure everything is flat and level and then just use your body weight to press the coffee grounds down. So this is my favorite coffee mug. Creative and dedicated photographer. I just love this mug. The espresso shot is already done. So usually what I would do is get a mug like this and then just dump the espresso inside and add some water. So that is my basic homemade black coffee. But just to show you what's inside the cup, I'm going to use a clear cup for this video. Usually I add water, I only drink espressos if I need a very very strong pick-me-up. Oh yeah, that's a lot better. That, that's homemade coffee. Alright, now I have to clean this place up so I will see all of you at the outro. Cheers! Hey, so this is the end of today's video. If you found this video entertaining, be sure to hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe to this channel. It is free. It's just a click away and you'll get notified whenever I upload a new video.
That's good coffee. You know, that's that's the thing about us coffee people, you know. Drinking coffee just lifts out our spirits. If you're not a coffee drinker but you know someone who is, maybe from your family or your circle of friends, definitely share this video to them and see what they have to say about it, you know. Go ahead, just roast me as, as much as you can. There's one more thing that I want to address before I end this video. I didn't want to bring this up at the start because it's not that big of a deal, but we hit 100 videos on this channel. That's right, this is the 100th video. I would have never thought that I would surpass 100 videos on this channel. So yeah, it's, it's a very special feeling, okay? We're, we're having a moment over here, okay? It's just nice to see how my channel has evolved over the years and connecting with you guys especially in the comments. It's a really nice experience. I'm pretty excited to see what this channel holds for us in the future. This is just a milestone, it's not the end of the road. I'll still continue to make videos as long as you guys keep watching. Thank you so much to every single one of you who continue to support this channel and watch my stupid videos. By the way, just for fun, since we hit 100 videos, I'm curious to know which video was your favorite so far. Like, we've done a hundred of these, but in your opinion, which was the best? Let us know down in the comments below. Alright, that is it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, I will see all of you in my next video.